Welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to check out the new blue spruce chisel plane. Now, what is a chisel plane and what is it used for? So this can be used in pretty much any application where you, you would use a normal chisel and a paring action. Cleaning up dowels, cleaning up dovetails, cleaning up tenons, shoulders, removing glue, all of that kind of stuff. So this isn't a tool you're going to use all day, but it's a very handy tool to have on hand. I have done a review of the normal chisel planes where the the blade is bedded at an angle with the uh, Veritas and the Lee Nielsen. I prefer this style and I want to show you guys why. Let's dive in. So first things first, let's just look at the tool for those of you guys that haven't been able to see one before. So I love how it looks. I just think it's really cool and unique. If you know me, I like, I like more modern futuristic type looking planes and tools and yeah, it's just me. Um, I love all of the different chamfers that they put on the wood here. Now you can see mine's a little dinged up. This was one of the ones that were sitting out at the Handworks event, so I don't know if it got dinged there or not, but I asked Blue Spruce because I'm cheap. I said, hey, this one's got dings on it. Can I get a discount? <laughs> and they told me I could just have it for free. So I'm not sure if that means this video is sponsored or not because I'm still kind of new at this, but either way, I'm very happy with it and I'm okay with the dings. <laughs> now on the bottom here, you can see where this screw can be removed. And then this one also, it's not a screw, but it's a little pin that helps hold the blade in place. But you can take this blade off, sharpen it and put it back right there with the little Allen key. Now comfort wise, this just forms to your hand. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know that I'll be able to show you guys, but the way that it's shaped, it just fits well. The other thing you can do is with the hole here, you can use it as a finger hold and hold the back of it if you really need to push or anything like that. But it's it's designed to fit in your hand very well. Now, as you can see, this one is new. So this is basically gonna be like new in box. So let me go ahead and take this off. Um, I always hate this part of new tools because then now it's used. <laughs> but anyways, here we go. Ooh, they came off easier than I thought. I'm glad I didn't cut myself. <laughs> so the blade looks like it's really sharp already. It looks like it's got a micro bevel on it if I can catch it in the light. There you go. All right, let's go ahead and put it to use. Oh, wow. That goes through that like butter. I haven't even sharpened it. Look at that. Can you see how thin that is? Oop, at a camera. taking off too big of chunks, but if I go narrow, look at that. Ooh, that's smooth too. I should probably take lighter passes like a chisel instead of trying to do it like a scrub plane.
So there you have it. I actually thought about redoing the intro because in the intro I told you this is a tool that I'm not going to use very often and it's a tool that you won't use very often. But as I started using it more and more, it's a chisel. Except the handle is here and not down at the bottom. So normal chisel handles down here. For this one, it's just up here. So I started using it like a normal chisel and it does a lot. You can even go bevel down and, and ride the bevel to pair things up. I mean, it's it's really comfortable and I can see myself using this in applications where normally I would reach for a bigger chisel or a normal chisel. And I don't mean just paring dowels, cleaning up dovetails, that kind of stuff. Like I was digging into the board, making V grooves. I was using it like a chisel. I mean, obviously you wouldn't hit it with a hammer or anything like that, but it has more applications than you think it does. And then I thought it did. So I'm definitely going to use this a lot more. It is very comfortable to use and hold on to. Now, if you are really trying to push through, right there on the handle might dig into your hand. Um, but it's really not supposed to be used that way. So don't get too aggressive with it. But I highly recommend this tool. And again, I'm going to use it a lot more than I thought I would. Oh, last thing I want to mention, um, I still didn't hone the iron. So with everything that I was doing, that was factory fresh out of the plastic nib that covers the blade. All right, if you guys have any questions, any comments, anything like that, feel free to let us know down below. I hope you enjoyed and have a good day.